Hey everyone, how's it going? So today's video um, has been requested a few times since I mentioned it uh, in the past. Uh, so it's going to be all about uh, organizing, uh, how I organize my camera bag. So that's one of my uh, hobbies that I have, if you didn't know, is photography. So um, I just thought that today I would show you how I organize my camera bag and how I keep everything all together and organized and things like that. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the camera bag that I have. Uh, it is from the company InCase and it's, I believe it's the uh, DSLR uh, Pro Pack. I'm not completely sure on the name but I'll leave it in the description for you all to uh, check out um, just in case I didn't get the right name. So this is it. Um, it's in a backpack style, so I'm just going to go around and show you that. So that is uh, the outside of the bag. Um, I really like this. It has a lot of room for all your camera equipment as well as for uh, everything else that you may need. So um, it has a front pocket here that I just usually put my wallet in or my, um, my sunglasses or my glasses uh, cases in there. Um, it also has a pocket on the side here that you can put something in, so maybe some cash or um, anything that you're carrying with you on that day, some business cards. Uh, and then it has a uh, front pocket here that's not the main compartment, but uh, it is one of the major ones. So this is what it looks like. And here at the back, you have room for up to a 15-inch, uh, I believe, uh, MacBook Pro. Um, InCase makes a lot of MacBook um, cases as well as iPhone cases and iPod cases. So their specialty is cases. Um, so they obviously made sure that they had uh, a compartment in here to keep your laptop. So right now... I just have my 13-inch uh, MacBook Pro uh, with an in-case hard shell case on there as well, so that fits on uh, easily in there. Also, there's a pocket here in front of the laptop one uh, that perfectly fits an iPad, so I usually keep my iPad in there as well. Uh, then down below here, I just keep a journal, a notebook, um, as well as I used to have a pen in here, but I have to replace it uh, just to take notes uh, or you know write down a phone number or something like that. It also has a couple other mesh pockets down here and places to put your pens. Uh, there's also a lot of room uh, in here so you can put like a, your computer charger or something like that as well. So it does have a lot of space, I really like that. On the side here, um, it allows you to attach a tripod um, in these little loops here. So you can fit a tripod in there as well. So then, uh, at the top here, this is the main compartment to access your camera. So, if you go ahead and open that up, um, I don't have my camera in there right now because I'm, that's what I'm using to shoot this video. Um, so that's the compartment there. I might overlay some footage um, just so that you can see it better. Um, but that's where you just, you know, unzip this and you grab your camera. So that's kind of, I really like this bag for that reason. Um, just to keep it organized and just uh, easy access pretty much. So then uh, the big feature about this bag um, obviously here is the padded back. So the padded back um, you just move your um, your backpack straps out of the way and there's a little zipper right here. So you pull that out of the little pocket uh, and then start zipping across. So I'm just going to flatten this out while I do this just so nothing falls out uh, and I'll switch camera angles just so that you can see it better um, if possible. So this uh, backpack just zips zips around and then the full back comes comes off kind of thing. It doesn't come off, it stays connected. Uh, and this is the inside of the camera bag. So I don't have a lot in there now. Um, obviously I'm using my camera right now to film this so a lot of my equipment is out here. Uh, filming. So I guess I'll just go over some of the things that I keep in this pocket, these pockets on the side here. So at the top, it's just a Velcro attachment. Um, I just keep a few things. I have my uh, Polaroid um, gray, white, and black card. So you may not know what these are for. It's just for white balance purposes. Um, it's a photography thing. 
So I keep that in there. I also have a few um, iPod adapters. So with this, I can put a memory card right in here, and then this goes into my iPad, and then I can view my photos on there. So, uh, and this is just a USB connection one as well. So I have those in there. Um, I also keep uh, a wireless remote and just a lens pen to clean uh, all my lenses. So uh, it just has a brush on one side and this comes off and you just kind of clean the lens with that and then you brush off uh, any of the dust. So that's what I keep in the top pouch there. I'm just going to throw all this back in there. So then uh, you have the next pocket here, uh, and what I keep in here is just a few uh, cheap lens filters. Um, I didn't go out and buy any uh, expensive ones yet, I just wanted to have something uh, just to use for now uh, that's not permanent. So I have a few uh, lens filters in there that comes in this nice little case. Um, so there's like a, a UV, lens, uh, UV polariz polarizer, polarizer. Um, fluorescent, and I think there's one more in there as well. So that's what I keep in here. So then the last pocket down here, what I do is I keep an extra memory card uh, just in this little plastic thing here. Um, I also have a just a cleaning cloth for my electronics, so whether my iPad gets dirty or maybe the screen on my camera. Uh, so I have a microfiber cloth. Um, and then I have these two little, um, like, business card showcases. Um, so these are from the company Moo, and that's where I got uh, the business cards as well. So in one of them, um, I have my Facebook cards. And what those are is basically um, they offered, um, you can get 50 free Facebook cards. So it's just like a personal business card. You know, it has your Facebook uh, profile picture and your... Um, your cover photo, and it has your name and your city, and, you know, like what school you're in. Uh, and then on the back, you can put a quote, and you can have, um, you know, your phone number, your Facebook link, your email address, uh, and things like that, just for contact info. So this little um, showcase here, it's just you keep all your business cards in there, um, and then it just fans out. So if you have a few different ones, I'm just not gonna, I'm just gonna cover this up just to kind of show you that there, just so that you don't see my personal information. Um, but that's what that is. So I have one of those just for like a personal um, kind of business card. You know, if somebody wants to contact me, I'll just give them one of those. And I also have um, some for my photography. So once I can get this open here, just kind of show you that. Um, so this is what that looks like. So these business cards have um, photos on them. So each card is different, so I just have some of my actual pictures that I've taken uh, on here. You know, so they're just, there's a variety. Um, show you another one. Anyway, so, um, so what it is, is it's just a business card with a bunch of different pictures on it, uh, and then it has uh, my contact info on the back. I'm just going to cover that up. Uh, and it's green on the back. So you obviously know that I like green. So you know, if I'm ever approached by somebody um, that wants me to take pictures for them, or um, you know, um, if I have like a business contact that I uh, do something for, I'll just give them one of those um, photography business cards just so they can kind of see my work. Um, and it has all my contact information there as well and how they can view all my other photos. So. I keep those in there uh, for that reason. So then I'll go ahead and show you um, everything that I just keep in the main compartment here uh, on my camera bag. So I'll just kind of stand it up here so you can see it a little bit better. I might change the camera angle just so you can get a better view. So on uh, this side, I just keep a uh, lens hood in there. Um, then I keep um, one um, digital camera, just like a point and shoot. So um, I have I've had this camera for years. 
um, but I just I like having a point and shoot in there just for something uh, to use um, you know just not for professional photos but just other photos so uh, this is uh, Canon PowerShot SD 1200IS Digital Elf so I just like to have this on there um, I used to film on this back in the day so, uh, it's been a great camera so I keep that in this little uh, protective case and then um, inside my camera bag. So along with um, the case that I put in there as well, um, I also have the charger for that camera. So keep the charger in the case um, and then I have another point and shoot camera in here uh, just to have, you know, I like to keep all my camera stuff together. So this is older than my previous one, so this is the Canon PowerShot SD. Uh, 750 digital elf um, so that's this one um, so I keep that in there as well as the charger so then uh, up here this is where I keep uh, my charger for my camera that I'm filming on right now uh, so that's the Canon um, charger adapter right there uh, and then in the next spot down I just have the power core that attaches to that charger then further down, uh, I keep uh, the USB uh, connection cord here, which I use to connect my camera to my computer, uh, so I'm able to upload all my videos and photos uh, on there as well. So this part right here, this is where the camera goes, obviously, but I'm filming on it now, so I can't show you that. Um, and this is where, you know, the top part opens and you have access to, so you know, you can, that's kind of where you go to grab your camera. So that's where that goes. Um, I just have a few um, lens covers and caps in this pocket here. Um, and that's basically all that I keep in there right now. Like I said, a lot of equipment that I have, it's not in here right now um, because partly I'm using it. Um, and I still have a few more things to purchase. Um, I do uh, want to invest in some more lenses. So, that is it. Um, I'll probably overlay some footage just to show you a little bit better, um, just so you can get a better idea. So that closes up, uh, and then it zips up the back here, you can put that in there, and you're good to go. So then, uh, these two straps, uh, you know, it has a little attachment here so you can secure it. So that is my camera bag that I have. Uh, there's also a pocket in the front here you can put something in. Um, but yeah, that's it. I really like it. It's really great. Um, I can just go, I can attach a tripod, I can have all my equipment in here, uh, and I can just go take some photos uh, and not have to worry about forgetting anything because uh, a lot of the times I do have everything I need in here. So that is it. Uh, I might post a few photos at the end, um, just some photos that I've taken just to kind of show you um, some of my work. Um, it's nothing, you know, comp it's not professional, to, um, but it's a hobby, it's something I like, um, so I'm definitely going to keep at it, um, and, you know, eventually it might work into something, but for now it's just a hobby, and I've just started um, a few years ago, so I'm working on building up my collection and things like that, so um, I'll probably leave a few pictures, and um, yeah, once again, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, maybe uh, let me know if you're into photography, um, you know, contact me, send me a link to your Flickr page, uh, show me your photos, I'd love to see them. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.